Hi everyone, welcome to Art Time with Melissa. So happy to have you here. Today we're gonna make a sweet little sunset and we're gonna learn about perspective a little bit. Let's jump right into it. So, we're gonna start with making our horizon line. Our horizon line is where the sky meets the land. So I'm gonna start with just doing a line across my paper. Then I'm gonna do my outline of my sun. I think I'm gonna switch to orange for that. And I'm gonna do a half circle with little lines sticking around it. Perfect. So, how perspective works is something really close to you is gonna look different than something far from you. So when something's far away from you, it's gonna look smaller. If you're near someone, look at them right now. Take your fingers and pinch their head. I bet if they're near you, closing one eye and pinching their head, with imaginary, don't actually pinch it, <laughs> then I bet it's gonna look really big. Now have them step away from you and I bet it's gonna look smaller and smaller and smaller as they walk away. So that's just how our eyes understand if something's further away. So I'm gonna do the same thing here by drawing. Last time I did flowers, this time I'm gonna do cactus. So I'm going to draw a really big cactus. Little spikes. That's really close. Then a little further away, it's going to be a little smaller. Then a little further away, it's gonna be even smaller. Then a little further away, it's gonna be even smaller. And like, you can even add details, like a road, for example. Maybe it's made really small at the beginning, but as it gets closer to you, it's bigger. It's a very simple technique to make it look like you know so much about art because you know how our eyes work. A lot of art's just tricks like that. So now I can paint in my painting. So let's talk about how to paint a sunset. So at the bottom of the sunset, I'm going to start with yellow. And what I'm going to do is as I go, I'm gonna let the colors slowly get darker. And normally I talk about, oh, let's make sure our colors don't mix. That's only because certain things we don't want to mix when we do watercolors. In a sunset, we want things to mix. So I'm painting right next to my yellow and I'm just gonna add some orange. And the yellow and the orange are gonna mix. Now, right next to my orange, I'm gonna add a little reddish pink and those are gonna mix together. Now in my palette, I actually don't have purple, but when I put the blue next to the red, we're gonna start to get some purpley tones and I might even add a little extra red into it and just rub it around a little bit to mix it for I want some extra purpley spots. Now I'm gonna switch to my dark blue and put it right next to it and let it mix together. Let it mix together. And that's how you get a beautiful, all mixed up sunset. Wonderful. Now, down here at the bottom, I still don't want everything to mix together. So I'm gonna be slow and careful at the bottom. I think, I'm gonna pretend this is a desert so I'm gonna use my sandy yellow color. And I'm gonna start at the bottom, further away from the sunset, to give it a little more time to dry. While I go up and I take my time going around my cactuses and around my road, whoops. But I don't have to be perfect, no one's perfect. I'm gonna go up near my sunset, but I'm gonna leave it a little space and just not quite have them touch later. Later I can fix that, but right now I'm gonna give them a little space so 
they can stay nice and neat. Beautiful. So I did cactuses in this one. I did flowers in my one before. What are you going to do? You could do cars. You could do mm, buildings. You could do people. You could decide doing a sunset was enough and you didn't really want to do the rest. That's okay too. It's your art. My ideas are here for inspiration, not requirements. Awesome. So now I think I'm going to take a dark blue to paint in the road. And again, I'm going to try to give it a little space so it doesn't mix in to the sand too much. And now I'm going to take my green to fill in my cactuses. And again, trying to give it a little space on the edge. If you have more time, you could even paint one thing and then just step away for a second. Just paint something and go, no, you know, I'm going to say hi to my friend real quick before I paint the next thing. Just turn to your neighbor and be like, hey, how you doing? Or go and just stretch for a second. Awesome. I think that is the basics. It'll look a little different when it's dry, but I think it's a beautiful sunset painting. Well, I hope you had fun and I can't wait to hear about all of your art and I am so curious what you did. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.